Hi guys, and welcome back to another Metal Roast reaction. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all the content and join the community. So this week is a bit of a heavy week because today we are looking at Humanity's Last Breath. You know them, um, you know how they play. And tomorrow I'll be putting out the Brand of Sacrifice uh, reaction as well. So yeah, very heavy week. I put out a poll last night asking which band would be heavier and you guys said it'd be Brand of Sacrifice. So uh, we shall see. I mean, it is HLB. You know, they brought the new level of intensity and new level of heaviness. So we're going to see today. So the track in particular we are looking at is Glutton. So I'm expecting thickness. It needs to have the fattest tones HLB to date. It needs to be chunky. Fucking big chungus over here. So I'll be looking out for that. If you enjoy this video, give it a like and comment down below. What do you think of the track? This is the fourth single out now, so let us see. It's only a three and a half minute track, so on the shorter end, but uh, I guess it'll be quality over quantity on this one. Okay, three, two, one, click. Alrighty, ooh, oh, those toms, fucking hell, that's thick. First thing that hits me, that tom. Okay, bit more upbeat, nice. 12th of February, cool. Very sparkly, like very saturated on the on the cymbals. Where's that kick? Turn the shit up. Oh. Oh yeah. I'm liking this. It's got uh, already more groove. This is probably the grooviest one they've got so far. I'm loving that drum beat. Love that drum beat. Ooh, first breakdown. Already with the detuned. Mmm, and a back and forth. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I asked for thickness. I got the thickness. And the signature uh, black metal blast beat. Worms, bugs. Kind of reminding me of the track uh, from Abyssal, uh, Pulsating Black, I think it was called. Oh, fucking hell, so brutal. Ooh, nice. Nice groovy breakdown, boy. Woo. Mm. Oh, oh, second big boy. Okay, blow it up, blow it up, come on. Come on, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Damn, that's every boy. <laughs> and I love that sort of like lead tremolo thing in the background. Oh. Ooh, choir. Bit of choir action. Nice. Oh, okay, now, now we're actually getting some good songwriting here. Oh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That is getting a strong like. Okay, not gonna lie, that, that, that was... Okay, that's definitely on one of my tops for when it comes to singles. 
I liked how in um, this track they actually went a bit more rhythmic with their songwriting because um, Tide, being a good song that it is, I felt like it was lacking a bit of cohesive, co what is the word, um, cohesive writing throughout the whole um, track. I felt it felt very uh, scattered or shattered. I, I, I don't know the exact terminology right now, but this one is a lot more rhythmic. It's a lot more easier to follow as a track, whether it be going from the main riff to the breakdown to the interlude section, uh, tidbits as well. I really enjoyed that choir section, just bringing in for that, oh, and then coming back out as well. The um, the blast beat section that reminded me of uh, Pulsating Black, uh, really dug that as well. Kind of reminded me also of Earthless as well with the sort of uh, second half after that small clean break. Did, I, did we get the thickness? We got the thickness. It was fat. It kind of reminded me of Homer Simpson in that one episode where his goal was to get uber fat. It was thick, it was chunky. I really liked the outro. I thought the outro was great. Um, every time he said gluttonous, having that whammy wee, And it wasn't just going wee, but it was actually having kind of moving between two notes. So it was actually a melodic element to it, which is, I thought was really insane. And surprisingly enough, even though it was only three and a half minutes long, I think this is the shortest song from the singles they've put out so far. It felt good. It felt like a good length of time. It wasn't overstaying its welcome. It was... It was just right. It was it was like the Goldilocks. It was just right. Overall, I think the excitement now is building up even more. February 12th, that's when it's coming out. Yeah, besides that, I dug it. I dug it. As I said before, comment down below. What did you guys think of the track? Did you like it? Did you not? Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It's January the worst month when it comes to like advertising and everything. So please give it a like. I mean, this is not going to get monetized anyway, but subscribe to keep up to date on all the content. Yeah, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for the Brand of Sacrifice reaction as well. But till then, bye.